going on YouTube? Andrew Huang here again for LPX Tech and today I am going to attempt to restore my Samsung Note 4 back to Android KitKat 4.4.4 because the recent update to Lollipop has just been atrocious. I thought I'd give it a few weeks to see if they would release any updates and all the patches they have done have still not addressed my main issue of being able to stream my Gear VR. There has been a reason why I haven't been able to post any Gear VR videos because I cannot stream to Chromecast anymore. So I've had my last draw, so I'm going to right now go through the step-by-step -step process I found online and see if it actually works and try to restore my Note 4 back to KitKat. So I'm going to have this link available for you guys in the description box, but pretty much this uh, this individual pretty much lists the exact step-by-step, -step, you know, pretty much the 17 steps to restore it back to KitKat. So let's see how simple it will really be. So step one, I've already downloaded and extracted and installed the Samsung USB driver for the mobile phone. So I downloaded it. Here it is. It's already ready to go. So now we're going to follow step two, which is download and extract Odin version 3.09. So let's go ahead and download that guy. All right, there we go. Downloading. It's downloading on the bottom. Opening up. Extract it to my desktop. Odin's up. So we're going to run Odin. And Odin's up and running, it looks like. Okay. So step three, download Android 4.4 KitKat firmware. Okay. So I'm going to go to the link that he's provided. Okay, so the site that's on the link um, only has the international version. So for those of you internationally, it's going to work. But for those of you who are in the with you, within the United States, um, you probably most likely have the 910A like I do. And I had to Google search and I found this site. Uh, it says it's galaxynote4root.com. I'm going to go ahead and leave that in the description box for you guys as well. Um, and then you just go down and just find whichever carry you have. I'm with AT&T. So I went and got that one and I just followed this down like this here and apparently you have to watch a commercial put in the down in the code. But I put in the code and it's downloading now. So thankfully that works. So let's go ahead and wait for that to download. So we finished step three and we're in the middle of extracting the file for the, um, the, the KitKat firmware. Step five is to enable developer mode on the Note 4, which I've already done. Um, but if you guys need instructions, the link is right there. It shows you guys how to do it. And we're going to open up developer options. So let's go into the phone. All right, so we're going to go into the phone, go to developer options. We want to enable USB debugging, which I've already have done. The next step is going to power down the Note 4, which we will do right now. Power off. Power off. So let's go ahead and check on the file. It is done extracting, so it is on my desktop. So we'll go ahead and boot up the Note 4 in recovery mode, which I don't know how to do. So let me go up, open up the instructions there really quick. You can press and hold the ho the home, the power, and the volume up button at the same time. We're going to press and hold until it appears. All right, there's some blue text and it's loading up. So let's go ahead and go back to the instructions again. So we're going to perform a factory reset on the Note 4. So you use the volume buttons to navigate the menus up here. So we're going to go down and we're going to perform a factory reset here. So we're going to, and then you use the power button to select it. And then we're going to just, and it pretty much gives you a lot of no options. Just be careful. I'm going to wipe all the user data. Yes. It's pretty much formatting the data at this point. So we're just going to let that run for a bit. Well, now it's done formatting. We're going to go ahead and turn it off again. To boot up in download mode, all we have to do is hold the power button, home button, and volume down at the same time. So that's different. And we're going to see the special download menu. So let's go ahead and try that. So we're going to do all three. Down. Wait a few seconds. All right, here we go. Warning. A custom OS can cause critical problems. Ah, so it's already built into the system for this stuff. So that's good to know. And accept the warning. So what we're going to do is volume up to accept the warning. All right. So we're in download mode. Now we're, it's already connected to the PC. I've already launched Odin. So let's move this to the side. I'll move the instructions to the side and show Odin right here. Now it says to do is click on the APPDA button. Where is that? Uh, hold on. Uh, here we go. AP. Browse to the so browse to the file that you just extracted for the uh, KitKat. I really hope this works because I, <laughs> you guys have no idea. I've been wanting to record more Gear VR um, games for you guys because I've actually been holding off playing new apps because when I when I record these demos, I want to record them with my raw reaction, not like a scripted one. So I've been really holding off. So uh, I really hope that this works. 
All right, let's go ahead and try this again. Start. Nice. Okay, it's working. All right. So I just had to quickly restart my computer and try it again. And now it's syncing up with the actual... It is syncing up with the phone and it's installing it right now. Oh, this is exciting. All right, it looks like it's taking a while. So we just got to give it a minute here. Oh, come on. Work, 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 work. Please work, please work, please work. All right, it just finished. And it's saying reset. It is resetting right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please work. Please work. Please work. Oh my gosh. Please work. <laughs> oh man, I am going nuts over here. There we go. Oh my gosh. Please work. Please work. Oh, for the love of God, please work. Please work. Nice. All right. Um, so, so what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to go through the setup process. Um, make sure it's KitKat's installed. I'll show it to you guys afterwards. And also download some of the uh, software for the Gear VR. And we'll tune right back in. It's back, folks. As you can see, for Android 4.4.4 is back on it. KitKat is back on my phone and it's working normally. So this wasn't rooting or anything. Technically, you, you're sort of hard to install this OS, but it's back. It's actually working. Now for the ultimate test. One thing before this thing updates the other um, apps, I want to quickly show that you can definitely tell that it's the original KitKat because when it first came out, soft card was called Isis Wallet. And you can see why they renamed it. Obviously, if you don't get it, then you've been keeping up on the news. But I just found that funny. It literally says ISIS wallet right on the screen. <laughs> That's going to quickly update in a few in a few seconds here to soft card. But I just thought I'd point that out. All right, guys. Well, so unfortunately, I won't be able to play any more Gear VR videos for you guys. Because apparently, you now have to update to the new OS in order for the Oculus app to work. Um on your Note 4 and that's the root of the problem though because uh, other than the Chromecasting not work so I can't record it um, the apps are being delayed and they, they won't run either so unfortunately I won't be able to do that still but I mean you can still revert back to KitKat I actually personally like the KitKat OS a lot better than the Lollipop but right now it's literally forcing me to update back to Lollipop so everything I just did was kind of a waste of time per se but to avoid this, all you have to do is just turn off your Wi-Fi and it'll prevent it from downloading an update. But obviously a lot of you are going to want to stay on Wi-Fi if you guys are watching videos and consuming a lot of data. Um, but this is very unfortunate. Um, I'm actually quite unhappy with um, not only my carrier but also Samsung for sort of forcing this down um, our throats. Because I'd rather them make me upgrade to a Lollipop once they've addressed all the issues. Not give me the broken version because the other phones have... Um, Android 5.0.2 and we're getting 5.0.1 which just has a lot of a bunch of issues with this. I'm a little unhappy about that. I mean all the, the video you guys just saw it's gonna just help you you know if you want to go back to 4.4.4 I mean it's gonna work but you just kind of turn out the Wi-Fi and just avoid updating. I mean I know I'm just repeating myself there but this is quite unfortunate. I am not happy with it. Um, unfortunately I'm just gonna have to deal with it. So, unfortunately guys, no more Gear VR videos until I get the, uh, the new one for the S6 Edge. So hopefully that won't have any issues. But as for right now, um, the Note 4 is going to be on hold. Um, so it's, it's very unfortunate. I've been wanting to dive right back in, but there's that. So sorry about the bad news at the end, but at least the good news is um, the step-by-step the -step process I just showed you actually works. So if you guys want to do that, and um, actually um, in the future it might work for... Whatever comes after Lollipop, it might work for the same thing. So if you still want to go back to KitKat, um, you can go ahead and use that. And guys, like me personally, being back on KitKat for just a, a brief moment, I'm going to be, it looks and feels a lot better than the Lollipop in my my own opinion. So, I mean, we'll see. It's going to go back to Lollipop, so we're just going to have to deal with it in the future. But Well, guys, I hope this answered any questions about how to downgrade back to KitKat. Um, if you have any additional questions whatsoever, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, I'll be more than happy to try to help you guys out. But thank you for those of you who have watched this video. And if you stuck to the end, thank you for watching through. But for more videos, not just how-to videos, but a bunch of other stuff related to technology and virtual reality, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. And as always, guys, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. I don't care for noises. Oh, what the hell is it? Ah! Ah! No, 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 no. Oh, woman. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, why are you slowing down? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, close it. Close it. 
Oh.